So I just want to give you guys a quick tip. It's a really fast one. Um, a lot of people are not really kind of realizing that this is how the game works. So if you go to your profession, you go to the guard or you go to the scout, you can actually, in this case, let's do the guard because we're in the first episode. Um, I can actually change the death crow. So the death crow here, according to the guard, is going to be level 16. Um, profession. So let's take a look. Yep. Level 16. What you can do if you didn't know is you can right click these hit past action and you can actually attack the previous version. So if these are too strong for you and you still want to kill them for some reason, uh, you can easily, easily do this. So right click them past action. You can take the lower version of them. It's an easy battle. So you're going to get less XP as you see that in the top. Um, but it is going to be nice because you're actually able to see as well the attacks, what they're attacking with, the immune to and vulnerable to. So you can actually get the equipment necessary to really make these attacks very easy. So again, I'm going to do this attack for you guys. I have all episode two equipment and armor on, so it's not going to go very fast for me, but it is a level two death crow. So in that case, it should be an easy win. But I just want to kind of showcase this little tip. If you guys didn't know about this, definitely take advantage of this. Uh, there's a lot of times I've actually used it when there's a very large or high level enemy, I can take the previous version of that enemy and make it so I can just, you know, kill it and run by after that instead of just casting the immunity spell. So very, very useful. And if you go into a hostile environment like this, where the thieves are here, you can see I'm going to get attacked by level 22 thief, quickly cast the immunity spell like usual, and then right click and change the, uh, the enemy to a lower version of itself. Again, it's going to help you quite a bit with these areas, just making it so you can you know, attack your way through if you want to, instead of just constantly running through these areas. Um, but that's going to be the quick tip of the day. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you guys didn't know about it, let me know down in the comments. And if you have a quick tip for somebody else, also leave that down in the comments. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.